Hello guys, in today's video I am going to guide you how to install Ubuntu alongside Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system. This allows both operating systems to run independently without affecting each other. In the end of the video, you'll have the flexibility to boot into either operating system on the same laptop or computer. Let's first download the Ubuntu ISO file from its official website. Go to your browser and type Ubuntu download go to Ubuntu website, click on green download button to download the latest release. It is 24.04 LTS. The file is about 5.8 gigabytes, so it might take some time to download the file. Next step is you have to download the tool Rufus to create a bootable USB for Ubuntu. You'll find this link in my video description as well. Head over to Rufus website, scroll down and download latest version for Windows system. Now let's create a bootable USB drive for Ubuntu. Run Rufus, insert your USB stick. At least 16 gigabytes is recommended. Now select your downloaded Ubuntu ISO file. Click on select button and choose the Ubuntu ISO you downloaded. You can leave the other settings as default. Then click on start. And if you get messages that it will erase all your USB data, then confirm to erase all data on the USB. Rufus will now create the bootable USB for you. It will take 10 to 15 minutes to write Ubuntu files in USB, so you have to wait. Our USB drive is ready for Ubuntu installation. Next step is let's prepare the hard drive for Ubuntu. Right click on start menu button and select disk management option. This tool lets us manage our hard drives. First, let me show you my drives. Currently, my window is in C drive and I have free storage in drive D. So we will format this disk and create unallocated space that we'll use for Ubuntu installation. If you don't have free drive for Ubuntu installation, then you can shrink volume from your Windows installation, drive C, choose how much space to shrink. So we have free space in drive D. Let's delete this disk so we can create unallocated space for Ubuntu. You can see unallocated space showing in black box. Also, I will show you how to shrink space from your C drive if you don't have unallocated space. Right click your main drive where Windows is installed and select shrink volume. Choose how much space to shrink. I recommend at least 50 gigabytes for Ubuntu. Once done, you'll see unallocated space that we'll use for Ubuntu installation. Once everything is done, the USB is ready. Restart your computer. Insert the bootable USB and press the boot menu key. Key varies by brand, for example, F2 for Dell, F10 for HP, and for Lenovo Press, F12 key. In boot menu, select your bootable USB drive for Ubuntu installation. On the installer screen, select try or install Ubuntu. Now you can see Ubuntu logo. It is booting Ubuntu operating system. After loading Ubuntu, choose your language and click Next. For accessibility in Ubuntu, click Next. Now select your keyboard layout option. Mostly we choose English US, then click Next. And continue without connecting to the internet for now. Make sure you have selected Install Ubuntu and click Next. Click Next for this one too, then again Next. If you want to install recommended proprietary software for Ubuntu, then you can select the option. Otherwise, click Next. Ubuntu automatically detects Windows and suggests installing alongside it, but we will install Ubuntu in different drive, so select manual installation, then click next. Here, you'll see a list of all the drives available on your computer. Let me explain. The drive, where we have our Windows installed in NVMe hard drive labeled as NVMe01, it has a capacity of 512 gigabytes, and there you can see free space of 87 gigabytes, and I used the Windows partitioning tool to create unallocated space on this drive specifically for the Ubuntu installation. Click the plus button to add a new partition. Start by creating the swap memory, which is required for Ubuntu. Set the size to 512 megabytes and ensure you select the swap area option. Once done, click OK to confirm. Next, click on the free space again and then click the plus button to create the main partition where Ubuntu will be installed. 
For this partition, choose EXT4 as the file system type. Set the mount point to slash root. Make sure it is just a single forward slash. Once everything is set, click OK. You will now see the partition available for installation. Ensure you select the correct disk for installation, then click Next to proceed. During the Ubuntu installation, you'll be prompted to set up a user account. Enter your full name, choose a username using lowercase letters, and create a strong password. Confirm your password to avoid errors. Once done, the system will finalize your account and continue the installation. The next step in the Ubuntu installation is setting your time zone. You'll see a world map or a drop-down menu where you can select your location. Choose the correct city or region to ensure your system clock is accurate. Once selected, the time zone will automatically configure the system's time settings and you can proceed with the installation. Next, the summary screen will show where the system will be installed. Everything looks good because the installation is set to take place on NVMe, not where Windows is installed, so your Windows partition won't be affected. Click install to begin the process. The system will then copy files, install Ubuntu and complete the setup. I'll skip this part and get back to you once it's done. Here you can see, Ubuntu is installed in laptop. You'll see a message asking you to restart. Before rebooting, remove the USB stick and then restart the computer. After restarting, you'll see the grub menu. Here, you can choose between Ubuntu and Windows. Select Ubuntu to log in and complete the initial setup. You'll be prompted to enter your password, then enter your password and log in. This is how you can use Ubuntu with dual boot. If you want to switch back to your Windows operating system, then restart the computer. When you turn it back on, the grub menu will appear. Quickly scroll down to select Windows Boot Manager and press Enter. This will boot directly into Windows. You'll see the Windows loading bar and once it finishes, you'll be back in your Windows environment. Now, in Windows, everything should be working normally. You can check your Windows partition and it does not change anything. You can see your C drive and there is your Windows files. Now, if you want to check the partition where your Ubuntu is installed, right, click on Windows Start Menu button and select Disk Management. There are a few partitions listed here. The two partitions labeled as Healthy Primary Partition are allocated for Ubuntu. One have 489 megabytes and other is 80.9 gigabytes. All other disks are functioning properly and are fully usable on the computer. That's it. You now have Ubuntu and Windows installed in dual boot in the same computer. Both works perfectly in computer. This is how you can install it. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you enjoy this type of content. See you in the next one.